New York City, Times Square, we're here at night. It's beautiful, it's the bright lights, the big city. And you know the phrase, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Well, I'm gonna take you to a bar that's been making it for over 100 years. That's on this episode of the Attitude Adjustment Hour. This, of course, is the Brooklyn Bridge, famous. It's been here since 1883. But right below here, this neighborhood is old. This is one of the oldest areas in New York. This is right near the five points of the gangs of New York fame. And this area here has some of the oldest structures in the whole city. Right down below here, we're gonna take you to the oldest drinking establishment in New York City, right below us. And it makes this bridge look like a baby. It's 90 years older than this. It was established in 1793. We're gonna walk downstairs. Actually, we gotta walk way the hell back that way, come back around. Okay, it's a hot day, no big deal. We're gonna work up a sweat, but we're gonna end up having a nice payoff with a cold beer. Downstairs at the Bridge Cafe. So let's get going. Okay, here we are at the South Street Seaport. This is Fulton Street, famous Fulton Fish Market mobbed up for a long time. Not anymore, the, f the fish market isn't here. They moved it over to Brooklyn. This place is the original seaport where all the ships would come in. So all so of these buildings here were bars and taverns and brothels, all catering to the sailors and longshoremen that were coming in here to do business in New York. Now, now it's, it's all t-shirt shops, it's all souvenir shops, but one place is still here. It's been here since the mid 1700s. And I'll tell you what, it's a hot day. We gotta go over and check it out. The oldest drinking establishment in New York. We're going over to the Bridge Cafe. Let's go over and get a drink. Heading north, this is Water Street, the original shoreline back when the city was young, but not so innocent. This was the dangerous fourth ward. In this street, Water Street was one of the most dangerous, lined with saloons and brothels. River pirates used to work the waters here in the East River. And here at the corner of Water and Dover Streets since 1794, and now in the shadows of the Brooklyn Bridge, is the notorious Hole in the Wall, now the Bridge Cafe. Okay, there are so many bars and saloons in New York that claim to be the oldest. McSorley says they opened in 1854, which is debatable. Historians are all checking this kind of stuff out. The, but the oldest drinking establishment in New York has to be this place. This is the Bridge Cafe. It's right under the Brooklyn Bridge. Actually, the on-ramp to the Brooklyn Bridge is right here, but it's right outside. This funky old place. I mean, it's almost dilapidated some of the walls. It's laid in plaster with the tin ceiling. And it's been open as a business. It started as a grocery at the corner of Water Street in Dover back in 1794. Now, 1794 just kicks everything's ass. I mean, the bridge wasn't built for 90 more years. McSorley wasn't even here for another 80 years. Actually, in Herbert Asbury's book, Gangs of New York, y'all seen the movie, Leo DiCaprio, whatever, Daniel Day-Lewis and all that nine. This place was described as a place where the river pirates and Water Street hags hung out. It was, it was definitely a brothel, like almost every place around here is something upstairs and downstairs, a funky saloon. I mean, I guess you didn't want to hang out here. They'd probably throw a Mickey in your drink and ship you off to Europe or something. And bottom line is it's got so much personality. Now they have a beautiful menu. I mean, it's a beautiful restaurant. But back there in Herbert Asbury's book, it was a place called The Hole in the Wall. And they said it was a vicious, scary dive. There's nothing vicious about it, not. Except for maybe this porter I'm having. It's a smutty nose porter, nice dark beer. Ooh, that's nice. Serving spirits in 1794, because hey, when it was a grocery store, they were serving booze. But they got an incredible selection of single malt, scotches, they've got beautiful single barrel bourbons, some of the new stuff, including the Hudson whiskey. They've got these beautiful little bourbons, ryes. Uh, it's a wonderful bar, plus some really, really good beers. 
which we've had maybe one or two, maybe one. Nice porter, nice light beer here, Chase. And listen, this is the cutest staff ever. I'm just telling you guys, they're the cutest, you know. Anyhow, but that's the way it is in New York with the Irish girls at the Irish pubs. If you love that Irish accent, you're going to love them. And they're great. They, they got a New York attitude, but they got that Irish accent. It's they a lovely thing. They make you want to buy another beer. They make you want to buy another beer. <laughs> wow, well put. But they're nothing compared to you. 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 And then everywhere here, make their own potato chips as a snack. And this one has to be the best one we've had. We had, had potato chips in so many bars in the time we've been here in New York City. But they did barbecue chips. Oh my God, these are so good. I mean, these are so good. And of course, they're salty and barbecuey. They make you want to have more and more beers. So if you're coming to New York and you want to go to the oldest established drinking establishment in the city, you go to Masorley's if you want. That's the oldest Irish bar. But you come on down to Water Street, down near South Street Seaport, and you're going to come to the Bridge Cafe. And what a great staff here. Hey, to the old hole in the wall. I'm glad it's not. I'm looking for river pirates and Water Street hags as I speak. I don't see a hag around here. You can catch the show either at aahour.com or on Facebook. Look for AA Hour. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm Den Cruz, D-E-N-C-R-U-Z, all one word. And I love your feedback and suggestions. Email me at aahour at yahoo.com. So hopefully I've lubricated the thought process for you. I'm Dennis Cruz, and thanks again for joining me on the Attitude Adjustment Hour. (laughs) 